Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Breathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. Uh, back in Central Gondor, uh, I was able to complete the the entire three runs of the Refugees Bounty, as I told you I was gonna do. But the Half Troll Bounty, I'm still missing one more go. And since Half Trolls are yeah, relatively scarce, and they are also found at Barat Rail, which is our next destination. I think it's worth just uh, going there, going to Barat Rail, and uh, completing that bounty on on that place as well. So we're gonna grab our milestone in here. So. A quick recap, we were fighting the Corsairs on their camp of Lankboha, and then we went to the race town of Garland, and they are telling us, well, we've, we've discovered about one of their captains, it seems, one Dolgimil, which is said, well, he has established a, his stronghold on Badat Rail, and that's also where the epic want us to go uh, but I don't remember what was the deal exactly with Barat Rail or the Epic in any case uh, we're we're basically there which is Barat Rail memory serves me right was a lighthouse that was destroyed by a by the Corsairs not fully destroyed as we have discovered and as we can see but you can see yeah uh the top of the building which has a fallen to one side so this is the place we are currently investigating let us just try and grab a quick view of yeah, of the lighthouse, maybe, uh, maybe from up this rock? Just want to be able to. Yeah, I like this. Okay. There we go. Discovered by that real. You enter the heavily guarded grounds of a once great lighthouse. The lighthouse has been toppled beyond the course of fleet continues on its course. Alright, so that was it for the epic. Basically just a scout in this place. But now that we are here, we can fight old Gimil and his men. Dolgimil. Yeah, as much as you are talking about this Dolgimil guy, I would love to discover who he is. What's his deal exactly? Oh, a half troll. Yeah, you come here. Yep, there he goes. Get back to work. Who is this? A Corsair Lieutenant. Your death will be swift. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Defeated all game is Lieutenant, and we have completed Corsair's layer of uh, Central Gondor. have the new deed, the advanced tier. So, some loot points, some reputation. Here we have the advanced uh, tier. And that's basically it. Ah! 
after all. Crusher, yeah. And another one here. Oh, so great. confront Dolgimilat, but at real, luckily we are at the spot. Um, just think I'm, I'm gonna... I wanna grab the last few Haradrim that we need for the bounty. Because I don't know what to expect from Dolgimil's fight, so I wanna make sure I have this done before we do that. Oh, we're missing one more Haradrim. Okay. Alright, with that we can go back to Glanion at Lin here, but now let us check this. Dolgimil steps out into the room and beckons you to speak with him. There he is. Welcome to my humble palace. So, here is Dolgimil. From the looks of it, he, he looks to be another of the heirs of Castamir. Uh, so maybe this is Asruthor's brother? Maybe. It ends here, man. I know not what you are in my presence and I do not care for it. The blood of Castamir runs through my brothers and I. This land is ours. I have claimed this once great beacon of Gondor as my throne. Look how easy it fell. Asrathor would have claimed Langstrand if it weren't for a band of warriors. I would very much like to kill those who took Asrathor's life. Asgar Sor and Balakor have their own thrones to claim. May Asgar Sor give me strength and Balakor guide me to victory. So yeah, this seems to be Asrathor's brother, but what is this Langstrand he was talking about that Asrath Asrathor would have claimed were not he uh, defeated? My brothers shall avenge me for your intolerance. Voldemilt stares and a chill through your spine. Okay, so it seems... Oh, come on. It seems now we need to return to Hideon's encampment, but they will most likely send us back here. I do remember some other quests on this lighthouse. So yeah, this is not going to be the end of it. Let us try and grab this half-troll. So hopefully next time we come back here, we will be able to complete that bounty too. The not so great part is we will still need to ride back to Erhar's camp to turn that in. And uh, that seems like too much, but it's the way of things, I guess. Unless we can find a few more half trolls on our way. I'm not getting my hopes up. Will you stop following me now, please? Just one last uh, shot of the of Barat Rayolan, and we'll continue. We'll be on our merry way. Oh, come on.
Yeah, we're finally alone. Jeez. Back to Hedian's camp. Really quick. Warband, Hokir. We have encountered Hokir, the runner, the Haradrim, and his warband run from battle to battle, assisting in destruction whatever they threat. And they are a very big a warband, as you can see. I mean, based on experience and the difficulties we've had in defeating the warbands of Dorian Ernil so far, I think this one we can skip. For the time being. And let us uh, focus on, on advancing these quests. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Berithan, it is good to see you again. I am just about to head north to Urkhar's encampment. I will give him the meeting place that Herion suggested. You ask where the meeting place is. I will let Herion tell you, for it is not my place. We shall all return to Ling here together, or Gondor. There's naught but ill omens these days. Ah, Beriathan, you have returned. You provided Gondor with light in these dark times. I am sure others would look up to you as much as I do now. While you were conquering the forces at Badadril, Aras and I managed to defeat a half dozen scouts. A mere grain of sand next to your mountainous deeds. I suppose we all do our part in this conflict. We have dwelt here too long, my friend. The time has come to meet with my brother Erhar and return to Ling here. This darkness is a weight on my mind. The time has come to return to Ling here for Erhar and I. Come with us, Veriathan, and we shall all return victorious thanks to your deeds. Garvir will welcome us back with open arms. Together we can repair Ling here and defend it from the Corsairs. First, we must pay our respect to those who have fallen in battle during this noble protection of Don Erenil. Let me know when you are ready and we shall begin our journey. Let us pay our respects before returning to Garvir in Ling here. Brothers Erhar and Herion return to the site of a battle that drove them apart. You accompany them to pay respects before the returning journey to lean here. All right, so speak with Erhar. This darkness is a weight on my mind. You have made your way to this place of grief with Hedion and I. Thank you for you, and I thank you for reuniting us for the return to lean here. Brother, it is good to see you again. We have accomplished much for Gondor in our time apart. It is good to see you as well, but this is not a joyous time. I look around and see only death. I see noble men who sacrifice themselves for our land. Beriathan defeated the leader of the enemy. Victory is at hand, brother. I persuaded you to take to the dunes, Arion. Now I ask for you to return to Ling here. I shall not bicker any longer with thee. Come, let us pay our respects. Erhar, I too care about this man. Do you care about Garvir and Aragorn's orders to protect Lin here? I care about winning this war. If you do not apologize to Garvir, I will in your stead. I have done no wrong. Quiet now, let us all pay our respects to these poor souls. Kneel before the brave warriors to pay your respects. We need to bury them too. In early silence at the loss of this brave Gondorian warrior. Okay, here we have another one. And one more. Oh, here.
Okay. There's not but ill omens these days. Your heart does not see the greatness that we have accomplished, only loss. Do not mistake my words, for I too I am saddened by the difficulty of our enemy and the lives they have taken. What I ask for is hope from my brothers to get through this dawnless day. Aeon grows restless and wants to return to Link here. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Perion is stubborn and not, cannot see that I have made a mistake in riding west into the enemy. This is not a decision I wish to make again, be it rash or wise. Come, let us return to Link here where I shall apologize to Garvir for my absence and for Herion. We have returned, but not without great loss. Okay. I hope we will get sent back to Baradril. Because I think uh, we are missing a couple things in there. And I don't think that was a pop-up quest. I do think we need to go back. There's not but ill omens these days. Though we do not always agree, my brothers and I must stick together. We are stronger as one than we were apart. I thank you again for your assistance, Varyathan. We could not have reunited without your help. If only my father, Komeldir, were alive, I could use his guidance in these dark times. Completed! Quest of Dorin Ernil. Awesome. A hero of Dorin Ernil and Wit, level 49. That's great. Plus 5 Locho points. You have aided the people of Central Gondor, yeah. 5 Locho points granted. That is also good. And weirdly enough, it seems there are no more quests in here, and that doesn't seem right. Ah, there is another one. I know that's that's for the epic. I do not want to weigh you down with our troubles, but the Corsair fleet is making poor time on its way to Pelargir, for they often stop to pillage the coastline. They believe victory is so near they need not hurry, and I fear they are right. I do not want to weigh you down with our troubles, Brethan, for you have already been a help, but he trails off, but the reassuring nod prompts him to speak again. A child has gone missing. No one knows for certain if she is lost, but none have seen her since the last Corsair attack. If you could investigate their camp to the northeast, I would be in your debt. My friends have already suffered so much of late. Losing their child, Ronald, would be the gravest hurt of all. Let us turn in this bounty. This darkness is a weight on my mind. And we can immediately grab this again. These days. So, the epic now, you will see, require us to, to uh, check uh, the same Corsair camp we did before when we were, uh, well, scouting this, this northern area. And uh, you remember, well, right now I cannot remember the name of that soldier, but... Um, But we went and investigated the Corsairs, then we followed the north, found a cave uh, with the Ruthless Dead, went back to Lin here, told about this to Garvir, and now we were sent uh, to, to the Gilrain and to look for one of the sisters, the five sisters of Lebanon. And the epic now is catching up with this as well. We will be looking for this child on this very same Corsair camp. And from there we will continue north to to the same place, basically. Roniel is not here, but a rock doll catches your eye. Did it belong to her? Alright. Okay. Uh... Ah, okay, this doll. Yeah. The yellow haired doll has seen better days. Did Ronil drop her here?
Okay. So let us continue looking. I'm thinking here we'll find the, I think, shrine, well, the tribute of sorts, the sisters. You have come up on the mirror and should find a place to set the stone. This one. A mysterious woman suddenly appears at the water's edge. Who is this mysterious woman? Ah, uh, good question. Let us kneel before her. The mysterious woman looks as if she wishes to say something to you, but remains silent. As you attempt to introduce yourself to the woman, she stands silent with the water lapping at her feet. Her visage is that of an amused smile as she turns and beckons you into the mirror. So, we are gonna follow her. We can walk on the water, but we can't, of course. A girl's lips by the banks of the river. You have found Roniel. And she, uh, thankfully, transported us to the place where we needed to go. A roaming star, made in of the Gilrain. You are a more, a most interesting one, man. I know why you have sought me, but the time has not yet come for that. This is no dream of yours, Beryathan. I have ferried you here to speak far away from those that might wish to do you harm. You are not of this land, and much still remains beyond your grasp. Not of this land, but, but kinda. Very close. I have brought you here because I sense goodness within you, man. You seek an end to the conflict that ravages my lands and burdens my people, as do I. Few still hold sincere belief in my sisters, and fewer still have locked up, looked upon me in many long years. Of those that did, one came to regret it, and I feel the shame still. Now these wounds lay bare as the men from Umbar pollute and defile my lands. My waters can heal their destruction, but I cannot do this alone. Aid me and I shall aid you in turn. Fear not, I have lulled the child to sleep with my song. You are not like the others that have come to this lands of late, young one. I sense that you are concerned for this child. Fear not. I have lulled her to sleep with my song, she will not wake until she is rested, and the cures that spurred her here are eased. She is safe. I am Roaming Star. What is your name and what is that figure you carry? As if under some enchantment, you speak your name and hand Roaming Star the yellow-haired doll. She stares at it with curiosity and sadness. After a time, she gently sets it down next to Roniel's sleeping form. Not all who come this way have kindness in their hearts. There are those who wish to harm this land and its people, and they will find no welcome from me or my sisters. Roaming Star opens her golden hand and reveals a number of pebbles. They are worn smooth by the current of the Gilrain. Leave these on flat stones to the south, Berathan, away from the banks of the river. For this small favor, you will have the blessing of Gilrain. Although there are few that believe my sisters and I still dwell in these lands, they have always strived to care for our lands and our rivers. These men from Umbar, they do not honor these lands as the others do. They defile, they steal, and they dishonor them for no greater purpose than their own gain. Soon they shall levy their destruction against my waters as well, but already they have taken from my people. Those that still believe pay tribute to me and my sisters with baskets they float down my waters, but the men have claimed those too. I do not know what drives them, but if be it greed or spite, but they must be punished for the harm done to those that honor us. So here we have Roaming Star and Roniel. So thankfully, uh, Roniel is safe. Now, there is something very curious about this area, as you might have seen on the map. Some of the quests will take you to the east, and technically Lebanon, and others will still take you to the west. 
uh, to stay in Dorian Aranil. But, well, we're gonna do them both, of course. I just find that a little bit curious. You should now work to heal the glade with the water of the Gilrain, which is also to the west. But this one here, to the east, I think that's the epic? Yeah, the pebbles on the flat stones. Oh, that's really cool. They didn't remember she would do that. I do like a lot the lore beyond this, uh, this the rivers. It ties up with Goldberry, of course, from, from the old forest. And also with Gwyndeth in Evendim. And it's very fitting, uh, in general. I think the idea that these uh, spirits protect the waters. Yeah, once again, I, I do find it very fitting with uh, with the overall lore of Middle-earth. Before I forget, there are some things in here that I want to grab. We might need to... Um, Free up some backspace soon. Okay. One last pebble. Let us grab that. Oh, let me also double check this ring that I got before I forget. Uh, agility, vitality, maximum morale. Let me see how this stacks against this one that I have here. Oh, it, it does stack really well. And it gives us some extra agility. Well, we do lose a little bit of agility, but I think it's, it's worth it. So... We have here. We can now go back to Roaming Star, and we can technically do that right away. But I, I, I would like to to complete the other quest she has given us. So, I'm gonna go back with Roaming Star after we do that. try and look for a place, a safe crossing to the west. So, heal the earth. Okay. This one, and here we have the vandals and the stolen baskets. We are where we need to be. Of course, would be a little bit better without the lag. Christ. Oh, Christ. What's going on? Okay. Gotta 
keep looking for the earth and for the baskets. One more basket. Not sure where to find it. Gotta keep running around. this guy here. Basket, basket, stolen basket, anywhere? Ah, yeah, I see it now. Perfect. That was everything we needed. Let us go back now to a roaming star. Let us see. How far are we? Not too far away. There she is. These men repulse me, Vergathan. They dishonor me and my people and cannot be allowed to hold sway over our waters. I hope that soon all of their number are gone from these lands and that I can return to the Gilrain in peace. You have done well to heal the wounds of men, Vergathan. These outsiders have no love for our lands or the people within and will not stop until it all lies wilted and dead. But I shall do all I can to hold them back from the innocent. In all I have witnessed, few other times have come with such destruction and bloodshed. Let us hope that this one shall soon come to an end. It has been long years since I cast my eye beyond the banks of the stream. I thank you for this favor, young one. It has been long years since I cast my eye beyond the banks of the stream. When last I did, it brought only grief. Sadness wells in the deep pools of Roaming Star's eyes, and her words are nearly whispers. An elf maid tarried on the banks of Gilrain, lulled to sleep by the beauty of my son. She was reminded of her home and I delighted in her presence, for my sisters had gone away and I was filled with loneliness. But she was needed, and when she awoke the delay had cost her the life of her love. He was an elf lord and a prince, Ambrot by name, and he waited for her, but she never came. He died believing she was lost forever, and when she awoke it was he who was lost. Roaming Star's words trail away into silence. After a moment, the girl Ronil stirs. Oh, very interesting this, this beating here uh, about Amroth and Nimrodel. Oh, a, a very clever way to tie into the, to the big story. Awesome detail, really cool. Oh my god, I, I love this. Yeah, such a small detail, but it adds so much to the world building in the game. Oh, hello. 
Are you a friend of my mother? I was separated from her during the fighting. I ran and ran and at some point I dropped my doll, but then I was just so tired and fell asleep. I think I had a lovely dream, but I cannot remember much of it now. I suppose it is time to return to Lin here. Do you think it is safe? Tell my mother I am on my way home. Her name is Mornil. Anything else you want to say? No. Long ago, through my curiosity alone, I caused two lovers' hearts to be broken upon the western shores. I have been troubled by this for many ages, and it was not long after that my sadness compelled me to hide myself away from the folk of these lands. Okay, yeah, you, you just told me that, yeah. Very interesting too. Yet, evil has come to these lands in great force, and I hold the power to change the fates of my people. If I fail to act this day, I shall suffer a sadness far beyond my knowing. You spoke of the dead and their plan to reunite with their master. That shall not be. My waters will consume them, but I shall have need of your aid. None shall threaten the folk of my lands, warden. Okay, let us go. Rowing Star, the fabled sister of the Gilrine, hopes to atone for her past mistakes by using her influence over the rivers of Gondor to banish the ruthless dead from her lands forever. I feel a chill at the water's edge, Briathan. The dead move to cross the river and they must not be allowed to pass into Levenin. You are known to them, but I am not. If you can drive them back from the river's edge and lure them to the mere, I shall ensure that they will only find peace far from these lands. Should they dare to cross the Gilrhine then? Even I do not know what will become of them, but they shall never reach the far banks. I can grant you safety in my waters, but if you stray from the Gilrhine, I cannot protect you from the dead. Go now, Warden. We must come swiftly to stop them. Come, Beriathan. Alright, lead the way, Roaming Star. Oh, he goes into the water. That's so great. And if we stay within the river, uh, great healing and a buff to damage. A watery image of Roaming Star dashes through the shallows of the Gilrhine. Oh, that looks so cool. The dead shall not trouble the living. More of them, here they come. That has found you, Baryathan. As the last of the dead vanish, you continue your pursuit of Roaming Star. Is, is she gonna appear again? Well, in that kind of watery image. The ruthless dead appear once more, angered by your presence. And here they come once again. And yet more of them. Granted a respite, you must now reach Roaming Star. And we have reached the mirror where we were trying to. Nurses of the Ruthless Dead suddenly appears before you. Whatever I turn, no matter how far I travel, you are always there, Varethan. Yet this time you are powerless. The ruthless host will sweep across the Lebanon like a tide of fear until we rejoin our master. Indeed, the waters of this river are strange and have kept you from fears, but nothing so simple can rout the dead. The waters of the Gilrhine are far more powerful than you know, Hothbreaker. And who is that that dares to speak? I need not dare, I am the maiden of the Gilrhine. The waters of this river answer to none but me. Ha! <laughs> what power does water have over the dead? O oh, Gilrain, the ceaseless ears of the wandering star. Swell and float over the man who buries Sildur's scar. To the haunted mountain top I banish you, foul shades. 
Ever more bound within to the oath you twice betrayed. What? What is this? What have you done? Curse you, you foul woman! Curse! Be gone from my lands, all of you. Tell your cursed brethren of what awaits those who dare to cross my waters. You are not welcome among the living. Roaming star power has banished Nersus and sent the ruthless dead fleeing back to their dark home. Awesome! You have done well this day, Brayathan. The people of my land have far less to fear now, and I speak not only of the defeat of the dead. Your presence has changed the fate of the war here in Gondor, and I shall ever watch over your deeds in the east. Come now, let us return to my glade. Let us leave the dead to contemplate their doom, Beriathan. That was great. Um, I mean, after all we've seen from the dead and seeing how powerless we were to completely defeat them, it's very fitting that uh, someone like Roaming Star would have more more of a chance at, at fighting them than we did. Um, has she banished nurses for good? I cannot say. I don't remember, but. From what she was saying, it seems she she just sent him back to Eric uh, and to be bound by his curse. But even that is way more than we would have accomplished on our own. And I also really like the way in which the dead have a created a Roaming Star's character out of regret for what she did to Nimrod and, and Amrath. Now she steps forward and uh, and and stops the dead in a way to, to right those wrongs? That's amazing, if you ask me. It is done, Warden. It feels to me as if a great weight has been lifted from this land, but I sense that many more troubles await you. Return to my people and tell them of what has happened this day. I shall tend these waters as I always have and strike down any dead who dare to approach my banks again. You shall always be welcome at my side, Periathan. Thank you, Roaming Star. I didn't expect to find someone of your stature in here. Thank you for your help and for your continued protection of the people of Gondor. Now we're going back to Link here. Uh, turn in all these quests. Now. We can technically do some more extra tasks, and once again, they do a work reputation with Pilar gear, not a Dorin Ernil or Ringlo Vale or Levenin. And I'm not, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember how hard it is to uh, hit Kindred with with Pilar gear. So let us, let us do that. Let us try and do that. That way we can also get a new ingredient on our bags. And then we can sell some of this stuff to free up some bag space because God knows we do need that. Completed! Known to Pilar gear. Awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Basically that. Give me just one minute to, to finish all my tasks from, from today. And I uh, will check that really quick. There we go. We got the ingredient onto our uh, crafting carry all. We do need some more uh, backspace desperately. But first of all, here we have uh, five Lotro points that we got from this deed, the title known to Pelargear. We have completed that deed. 
5 Lotro points and some extra currency. Now we're working towards friend with Polar Gear. And there you can see it. We're making good progress there. Now, we need to talk to Garvir about a roaming star. But here we have Morniel and uh, Roniel. He has finally come back home. I am back, but my mother does not believe me. My daughter Roniel has returned, but she had an unusual story to tell. My daughter Roniel has returned, and she says that you are the one who found her. I am so glad she is safe, and I am grateful for the kindness you have done, my family. She had an unusual story to tell, and I must say I am not sure I can believe it. Roniel says she met the River Maiden of the Gilrain, but she is just a legend, is she not? One of Linhir's traditions involved floating red baskets on the stream in honor of such a creature, but I did not really believe in the existence of the Five Sisters. Is Roniel making up a story? She must be. My mother does not believe me, but I can convince her! <laughs> Roniel sets a small pebble on the edge of the fountain. <laughs> awesome. I see that Roniel has found her way safely home. I am pleased I was able to restore some measure of happiness to the world. Roniel says nothing, but the look on her face is mock and satisfied. And what do you say? I did not think such wonders still existed in this world. Oh my, can it be? I did not think such wonders still existed in this world. Well, you better believe it. You better start believing in it. There are more things in heaven and earth that are dreamt of in your philosophy. Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Anyway, here we have Garvir. Ill omens these days. You tell a most interesting tale, Breathan, but I do not have the time to hear all of it right now. Many things are happening in Lingir, and I must remain vigilant. Let us speak of this another time, my friend. This darkness is a weight on my mind. You have returned to us just in time, Breathan. We have heard the horns and shouts of the Corsairs and Haradrim in the distance. They come again for Lingir, and I doubt there shall be a host of spirits to drive them off this time. I fear this shall be no short battle, for your efforts on the coast have surely raised their ire. When you are ready, we shall take the western gates and my brother shall guard the entrance to Lebanon. Ready your arms, my friend. Let us face down these invaders together, my friend. Striving to avenge Dorgimil, the Corsair and Haradrim invaders of Dor and Ernil, Make ready to siege Lean here once more, and slay its people as retribution. Luckily, we are here to protect it, are we not, Erhar? Gondor needs your aid. They are upon us, Beryathan. We have failed them thus far, but our lines are weakening. Swiftly now, we must defend the gates! We have broken their numbers to the north, at least for the moment. Yet, the Corsairs still throw themselves at our western gate. We must hold out as long as we are able, Beryathan, for their forces close on us from all sides. Erhard, their numbers are thinning, but they still have a lot of fight in them. My men and I are wounded and must fall back to defend the innocents near the keep. Hold the line. I shall send more men to your aid as soon as I am able. Let us do what we can, Beryathan. To arms! That was rough. Anybody else coming this way? More of them. Would be really nice though is some of this where Haradrim instead of Corsairs. As you see, we are still uh, progressing through that bounty. So having the chance of completing it right now would be very, very good. Look to the west, Bryathan. More of them come for Link here. Out of my watch. Where are you going? Our men cannot hold against so many, not after fighting for so long. Ah! 
So what? Do we do we retreat? Fall back? Their numbers are thinning, Berathan, but I cannot take joy in this. We have lost so many. Shall anyone else take up arms to aid us? We can hold it from here, Erhar. Your brother needs your aid by the river. These are troublesome times indeed. I think we have bolted their assault, at least for the moment. My main here shall hold the line should they return. We must go to Herion's aid at once. Come, we must reach Herion swiftly. Let us hope they do not redouble their efforts here. Wow. What was that? It sounded like the far gates were torn from their holdings. I fear more trouble lies ahead. My brother, what has happened? Brother, at last you have come. Men and half trolls have broken through the gate and pour in from Lebanon. Look across the way. Garbir fights with spirit, but he cannot hold long by himself. We must reach him before it is too late. And who is he fighting against? Asgarsor. Okay. It's like... Well, another heir of Kastamu. So I would say brother to Asgarsor and uh, Dolgimil. Gondor needs your aid. Brother, I am glad you both have come. Garbi and I were separated by a sudden rush of Haradrim through the East Gate. I was pushed back and now all of my men have fallen. I will not see him fight alone. We must reach him. We were foolish to tarry so long on the fields. We should have been ready for this assault. Garbage should not have to suffer our folly. Well, we are already here. We have caught them on our words. Two arms. Let us press on. Where are you going? Erhar, are you okay? Where are you going, Erhar? Those half trolls are too heavy on their feet. We shall be ready for them. Oh, another half troll. Well, that's gonna be good. Ah, the last two I needed for the bounty. Thank you so much. Well, it seems Erhar. I oh, know, there he comes. Glad he didn't bug out. I was getting kind of worried. Let this dog try to keep me from him. Well, they are not keeping you, hard Yourself. You yourself are responsible for that. you speak true it was you that slew Dolgimil worm right here were it only that I had enough men to slay Ling here to the last but they now sail on the coast and when they are mine I shall return for your brothers let a shadow of my vengeance wait upon you and your kin wherever they go drown you wretch
You are fortunate indeed that I came only for him. Yet when the Scourge claims Pelargir, I shall return and claim Link here as my home. You shall not find me so merciful then. Let the loss of one of your brothers wound you as the loss of Dolgimil and Asruthor has wounded me. May his death leave you undone. Leave them to tend their dead. Their own end shall come soon enough. You have prevailed, but at great cost. Gondor needs your aid. Curse that man. Curse him and all of his inbred men. I shall see him slain, Beryathan. I swear this above all else. It is a sorry day, Beryathan. Let us tend to those we lost. This darkness is a weight on my mind. I have failed my brother, Beryathan. He had the best mind of us all for how to approach battle, and I allowed him to fall. I should have been there. I should have. Her heart trails off, obviously overcome. You have done much for my brothers and I, my friend. I have but one more thing to ask of you. There's not but ill omens these days. We hold Link here because of you, Beryathan, but we lost far too much in the fight to hold it. I have sent my remaining guards to search for Garvir, but I hold little hope that he will be found. Either the current has taken him out to the bay, or his plate armor drew him down to the riverbed. I blame himself for this loss, and I curse myself for not seeing the folly of rushing out into the fields of battle with so few in my command. The war rages on in Lebanon. This much is clear to me now. Travel to the settlement of Sarnhat to east of the south gate of Linhir, and see if you can aid the people there. Herion and I shall renew Linhir's defenses while you aid the folk of Lebanon. And, Beryathan, should you find the scarlet garfed man who slew Garvir in Lebanon, I shall not be denied the chance to run him through. Uh, there you go. Uh, this, I think, is the end of the quest line in the, in Dorin Erenil. But as you have seen here, we have unlocked more quests, and those are uh, dailies that we can uh, take advantage of uh, to increase our standing with them just a little bit more uh, before we use our rep items to uh, gain the reputation that we are missing. That, however, will come on the next episode. For the time being, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.